glasses. Give me one second. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy. Good morning, everybody. Let's see who we have here online. My apologies to you. I, uh, <laughs> I absolutely overslept. Forgive me. Forgive me, forgive me. Good morning. Hope everybody had a good night's nice rest. Appreciate you guys being with us here this morning. Well, let's get right into prayer. Lord, we thank you this morning for love and your mercy and your grace. Thank you so much for the lives you've given us and the, the week you've given us so far. I thank you for how your grace and your mercy is new every morning. You're the God of Israel. You're the God of America. You're the God of our hearts, our lives. You're the God of the world. You're the, you're the God of the universe. You're, you're the God that reigns over us supremely i thank you lord for everything that you're doing in our lives i thank you for your anointing i thank you for your power i thank you for your your presence in our lives lord i thank you so much for what you're doing in crystal's life kim maiden's life lord i thank you for what you're doing in jamie and riri's life lord i thank you for blessing our other sister kim lord and sam uh, I thank you for blessing Jay. And I thank you so much for Dan and James and elderly Lord. I thank you so much for Gracie, Charlene, Don. Uh, you're grateful. We're grateful, Lord, for your presence. I thank you so, so much for what you're doing in uh, Mentos life, Jorge's life, Tanya. Lord, thank you so much, Lord, for what you're doing in John's life, Angela, Madeline, David, soul partners, Danny. Lord, thank you for what you're doing in Scott's life and your anointing that you're placed on Jack, Jack and Mongo's life. Richard, Sadi, Sadie, Lord, thank you. Aren't we grateful this morning, Lord? You you deserve all the, all the praise for what you're doing in Annie's life, Roxanne, Bryce, Bryson, Gwen, and Ann. You deserve all the, all the praise, all the honor, all the glory. We stop this morning to say thank you. We thank you for being patient with us and your love for us. Yeah, he's, he's faithful. Lord, if we could just take a moment to start our day by acknowledging that you are the king. Holy is your name, Y-H-W-H. We honor your name this morning, Y-H-W-H. We honor the name of God. Let your kingdom come today. Let your will be done today right here in our lives, right here in these earthly vessels, just as you have ordained it in the heavens. Let your peace come today, your love come today, your reign, your rule. You are the king. So we want the king's rule, the king's domain. We are king's kids. May we act like king's kid. May we king's kids. May we be provisioned like king's kids. Let your kingdom come, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, if you would please give us today everything we need, our daily bread. What do you need today from the Lord? Lord, that's our prayer. What do you need today? Just today. What do you need from the Lord? Put it in the chat, your daily bread. Just, just, just today, what do you need provision for? What do you need emotionally? What do you need mentally, physically, financially? Put that in the chat. That's today's prayer. That's what we're going to pray today. Again, I apologize for my tardiness, but the Holy Spirit is still here. We're still going to have a wonderful day in the Lord. 
What do you need today? Tried by fire, said, so I just need some strength today. Lord, I pray that you would grant our sister strength through your precious Holy Spirit. I'm going to stand on the word this morning and ask that you would strengthen her, Lord, when she's weary. Lord, be her strength when she's weak. In Jesus' name, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might, Sister Ephesians 6 and 10, on your life. What do you need today? Put it in the chat. That's that's how we'll do this. We only have about 30 minutes. And so I do want to honor your request, but specific to today. If you need something else, I'll be more than happy to pray for it. But what, give us today our daily bread, our daily bread. Crystal said healing and restoration. Lord, I'm asking that you would continue to heal my sister, Crystal. Lord, will you heal her completely of all things in her life? Physically, mentally, emotionally, physically. I'm asking that the hope that she has in you lives and moves. Lord, sustain her according to your promise. Lord, do not let her hopes be dashed. That's Psalms 119 and 16. But we stand on the word this morning with Sister Crystal, Lord, that you are her portion. She will wait on you. The Lord is good to those who have hope in him. The one who seek him, Lamentations chapter 3, verses 24 and 25. Lord, restore her marriage. Lord, may there be communication and goodness that flows through their lives in Jesus' name. Hector said, I, I just need Jesus today. Lord, will you just be alive in his life? Feel him and manifest your goodness and your spirit through Hector. In Jesus' name, may the hope fill him, Lord, with joy and peace and trust. May it overflow by the power of the Holy Spirit. Romans 15 and 13, Hector. Sam said, I just need relief from nightmares and thoughts that my husband is entangled with another woman. Have mercy, Lord. We, we pray for you this morning, Lord, that will you give her peace of mind. Lord, will you, will you grant her courage? Yeah, I speak that that the Lord himself is with you through the fire. Isaiah chapter 43, I pray over your life that when you walk through the fire, you will not be burned, that the flames will not set you ablaze. I pray over your life that the Lord, our God, the Holy One of Israel, the Holy One of your life, the Holy One of your heart will be your Savior. I pray that he saves you from nightmares. We bind and cast out every thought, every devil, every imagination that's not of God. In Jesus' name freedom peace peace i leave unto you the lord said my peace not as the world gives it but as i give it jesus name i've told you these things things john chapter 16 i pray over your life john chapter 63 i've told you these things so that in me you may have peace in this world you're gonna have troubles take heart I have overcome the world in Jesus' name, Lord. Give her peace about it. Seeking Jesus with Scorula said marriage rest restoration. I, I, I speak reconciliation into your home, into your life. I speak a holiness and a righteousness of God into your life. In Jesus' name, we pray over your marriage that the Holy Spirit would reconcile. All things would be forgiven that the Spirit of God would move the bitterness and the unforgiveness out, that the love would be restored 70 times 70. I pray that when you are weak, you're strong, that His grace is sufficient. 2 Corinthians 12, chapter verse 19 over your life, sis. Sister Liz said, can you pray for my daughter's home and finance? Lord, we pray that you continue to bless them, bless her exceedingly abundantly above and beyond, Anything that they can ask or think in Jesus name, Lord, I'm asking you, we're asking this morning that you would just be faithful, continue to watch over our home, continue to watch over them completely. Proverbs 28 and 20, I pray over her life that she would be richly blessed and that the Lord would continue to fill her with his spirit. What do you need this morning? Daily bread. Lord, give us today our daily bread. What do you need of the Lord today? I'll pray over you. We will pray with you. Again, my apologies, everybody. We're here. Sister Liz, 
for my grief, my job search, also my finances. Lord, will you remember her? Will you, will you be patient with her and show her what it is that you have for her? In Jesus' name, I pray 2 Corinthians chapter 9 over your life that the God that God is able to make all grace abound to you, all grace. And to and that in all things, at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. I speak that over your life, that everything that happens to you, Lord, will you help her in her grief? Lord, will you, will you help her as she continues to grow and evolve and learn how to, to move forward, press toward the mark of a higher calling? I speak Psalms 23 and 4 over your life. Even though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you'll fear no evil. For your God is with you. His rod and his staff, they'll comfort you. Riri said just peace and finances. Peace and finances. But store up not for yourselves treasures where moth and, and rust will destroy. But whether your heart is, so will your treasure be. Lord, I pray over our sister's finances that you allow grace to abound, that you'd meet all of her needs according to your glorious riches. Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. Lord, will you continue to restore peace into her life? May she just have a calmness and a oneness with you, Lord. I'm asking that your holiness and your righteousness fill her. Lord, will you give Riri the strength to, to be there for the kids, give her the strength to raise the family, give her the strength to give the right advice, give her the strength to just get through this day. Lord, I'm, we're asking for your peace. Peace. 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11, I pray over her life, Lord. Be of one mind and live in peace with the Lord. And the God of love and peace will be with you in Jesus' name. Gracie said, just boldness to be who YHWH wants me to be. Lord, will you give her the courage and the boldness she needs? Paul kind of courage. Peter kind of courage. John of Patmos kind of courage. Not afraid. Lord, I pray over her life, Romans 8, 37. That in all things, she's more than a conqueror through him who loved them. Loved us. And I'm, and I'm convinced that neither death nor life, things at work, things that happen to us, angels, demons, things that are in the future things that are happening right now in the present all the powers in the world nothing too high nothing too low will ever separate her from the love of god lord but may that be her courage may that be her strength i speak isaiah 41 over your life that you do not fear the lord said i am with you don't be dismayed for i am your god i will strengthen you i will help you i will uphold you with my right righteous right hand in jesus name jaquita good morning to you Miss Brown, good morning to you. Oh, Eric and Nina. Miss you guys. Lord, I pray over my brother and sister that you continue to bless their marriage, bless their home. Lord, continue to, to strengthen them as one. I speak the faith of God, the strength of God, the holiness of God, the anointing of God over Eric and Nina. In Jesus' name, Lord, if you would please give them an amazing day in you. Wipe away all issues, tears, strengthen them in your word. I speak Joshua 1 9 over your life this morning. Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. In Jesus' name. Gracie, that could go for you too. That's a good scripture. Yvette, good morning. Hallelujah. Kim said, can you pray for my son, Jake? He went to jail last night. Hmm. There's forgiveness of sin. There's mercy and grace. We pray for you, mom. We pray for everybody who's got a loved one who's incarcerated. And our prayer for him, for Jake, and for everybody that we know is that the Holy Spirit would be gracious and kind. That the Holy Spirit would have mercy. That the Holy Spirit would allow his love to manifest in Jesus name, in Jesus name. Ephesians chapter two, verse four and five, I pray over Jake's life and everybody's life because of his great love for us, who's rich in mercy, made us alive in Christ, 
even we were dead in our transgressions, even when we were in shackles, even when we were in chains, it's by his grace that he would be saved, that we are saved. Lord, I pray over Jake that you would give him revelation, knowledge, and wisdom to see what's right. Sister Lizzie said court was moved back to April, so we will continue to pray. We thank the Lord for what he's doing in the fiance's life by building their faith, building their trust. This is just another step in that process. Lord, I speak Jude chapter 1 and 2 over their lives. Lord, mercy, peace, and love would be theirs in abundance. Jude chapter 1 verse 2, Lissy, that's your prayer. That's your scripture this morning. God bless you. If you Today, I, I stopped at give us this day our daily bread what's your, what's your daily bread what do you need today put it in the chat i'll pray we learned last night in bible study that we don't have to do a lot of babbling we don't have to have long lengthy prayers it said in the word of god that i already know what you need before you ask i already know so just come to me saying our father you're the holy one you're the anointed one your name is to be respected. Just your name alone. Not what you've done, not what you're going to do, not because you created the world, not because you saved me. Just your name has respect. If you would please give us today the things we need, our daily bread. Thank you, Sister Eric. Mia, Mia thank you. Tell Eric I said hello, please. Give us this day our daily bread. Rachel said my health is really bad. Lord, I'm praying over her health. Everybody. Every, this is for everybody who's dealing with a health issue, a sickness, a disease, a diagnosis. I'm praying right now God's healing power today. Just, to, just today. Lord, if you would please allow your love, your hope, your mercy, your grace to flow. Romans chapter 5 verse 35 We also rejoice in our sufferings Because we know that the suffering produces perseverance Perseverance character Character produces hope And hope does not disappoint Because God has poured out his love Into our hearts By the Holy Spirit he has given us For in this hope we are saved Lord we have hope in you We believe in you We believe that this is not the end We believe this is not what you want our bodies to, to go through There's always a purpose in this We hope for what we already have, no. For we hope for what we do not yet have. Romans chapter 8 verse 24, we wait patiently. Lord, we stand on the word this morning, believing that all things work together for good. For everyone dealing with a sickness, everyone dealing with a disease, I just bind all of it right now. I come against it, we stand against it every morning. You don't have power. We stand against you, we will not stand for this. We believe that God is our healer, our portion, our strength. In Jesus' name, we, we bind that sickness and disease, all infirmity, go. And we speak the peace of God, the love of God into your lives. Hebrews 6 and 19, for we have God as our anchor, our hope as an anchor for our souls, firm and secure. Denise said, I have terrible insomnia. Holy Spirit, I'm asking for your relief. I'm asking you to do more than melatonin would ever do. I'm asking that you do more than any sleep analysis would do. Lord, I'm asking that you would move into the neurology of her, her mind. Restore the chemical balance so we can all get the right rest. Whatever is worrying, Sister Denise, Lord, I'm asking that you would have some mercy. May you have some grace. May you be compassionate. Lord, give her wisdom. James chapter 3, verse 17. Wisdom comes from heaven. First of all, pure, peace-loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy, good fruit, and partial and sincere. Lord, will you allow your rest to fall on her? Considerate, compassionate. In Jesus' name, you spirit of insomnia, I'll call you out. Stop. Go away. Leave my sister alone. May she get some rest today. May the Spirit of God rest on you so heavy that you oversleep. In Jesus' name. What do you need today? Come on, we got 10 minutes. We got 10 minutes. Again, I apologize that we're late. I'll say an overall prayer here to bless our day. 
God is still worthy. He's still in control. He's worthy of all of our praise. <laughs> all things work together, even me overresting, huh? Hallelujah. Asking God just to allow me to be a be whole again. Lord, may your power rest on Sister Nancy and everybody. May we just be whole again. Philippians 4, chapter 6, chapter 4, verse 6, I pray for your life. Lord, that we be anxious about nothing, worry about nothing, have fret about nothing, anything. But in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, we're presenting our requests to you. And Lord, may the peace of God, which patches, passes all of her understanding, transcends what she understands. Lord, may it guard her heart and mind. Lord, make her whole again. You said in John chapter 15, verse 7, Lord, if we would remain in you and your words remain in us, we could ask you whatever we wish. According to your will, and it would be given to us. Lord, all she asking is to be whole completely, physically, emotionally, mentally, strengthen her back. Strengthen it. Make it brand new in Jesus' name. We stand on the word of God this morning. Alejandro said, can we pray for my stomach pain, please? Come on, everybody. I know you're already praying. Holy Spirit, will you be medicine to her stomach? We pray this morning, Holy Spirit, that you would move and have your way. We wait on you. We wait with her, that you would be her healer. Please move her digestive system. Move all the cramping and the issues I speak to everyone's intestines I speak to everyone's bowels I speak to everyone's uh, the, enti the entire system healing, strength, relief peace Lord would you do that for her? In Jesus name 1 Peter 3 and 12 said for the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are attentive to their prayers Lord that's our prayer V said, prayers for my new job, for good training, take away my anxiety, causing my lupus to act up. Listen, devil, stop. Peace. God said, my peace I leave with you. Not as the world gives it. Lord, will you bless her? Will you give her complete confidence in, in you? May she feel your presence on, on her job. And I pray this for everybody. That today, that the Holy Spirit would give you favor, that the Holy Spirit would grant you success, that the Spirit of the Lord would give you peace on your job. I pray that the Spirit of the Lord walks with you and be and is faithful. I pray that he covers you, Psalms 91, with his feathers under his wings and that you would find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. Psalms 100, for the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. I pray over everybody this morning, Lord, the word of God. That our trust and faith is in you. In Jesus name. Proverbs chapter 3. That love and faithfulness never leave us. Lord, may it be bound around our neck. Write it on the tablets of our heart. Lord, may we win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. Lord, be faithful. Lord, keep us from all distractions and disasters and worries on our job. Lord, keep us from calamity and issues and hardships. And Lord, we trust you that if life comes at us pretty hard, you're going to be right there. You're going to be right there. You're going to be right there with the fruit of the spirit that's inside of us. I speak over to you in your lives this morning. The manifestation of Galatians chapter 5 verse 22. May this day you be filled and may the fruit of his spirit be manifested. Come alive. Show up in your life. I speak love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. I speak self-control. I speak self-control today. I speak of calmness. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. First Timothy 2 and 7. May got that one wrong. 
God has not given us a spirit of fear. Psalms 101, my eyes will be on the faithful in the land that they may dwell with me. He who walks is blameless and will minister to me. Lord, we're ministering to you this morning. Forgive us of our sins, just in case, just in case, just in case, Lord, there's any sin in the camp. You're faithful and just to forgive us if all we ask is us, ask you to forgive us, so we're sorry. Donna said, help me recover from being gaslighted. She needs somebody she can trust. Lord, will you send the right people into her life? Will you help her, Lord, to see, give her wisdom, spirit of discernment, open our eyes to see you for who you are. Give us insight. Give us knowledge. Lord, we we want to be representatives of you. We want to be salt. We want to be light. And Lord, if there's anybody out there that we need to forgive, help us to forgive them. But may we may we have a heart of compassion the way that you have a heart of compassion towards us. Lord, we're asking this morning that you forgive us as we forgive others. In Jesus' name. Give us this day our daily bread. Lord, we need everything from you. We need your care. We need your compassion. We need your love. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Philippians chapter 2 verse 13. For it is God who works in you. It's God who works in you. You're not doing this by yourself. It's God who's working in you right now. It's God who's sustaining you. It's God who woke you up. It's God who's going to give you the strength to make it today. To will and to act according to his good purpose. Lord, we pray this morning that your will, your good purpose is manifested today. Give us this day our daily bread. Lord, we pray that your words would remain in us and you would remain in us and that we would remain in you. And we would stay and stick to your word. In Jesus name. Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Lord, if you would please keep us in your care today. Give us today our daily bread. You said in John chapter 4 verse 14, whoever drinks the water I give him will never thirst. Indeed, the water I will give him will become a spring of water welling up on the inside of him through eternal life. In Jesus' name, we speak the word of God over our lives, over our work day. We pray for our children. We pray this morning over our loved ones. We pray, Lord, over our finances, our health. We pray over everything. Lord, we just, I'm just praying over everything, Lord. I apologize, <laughs> but I trust you. I come right now asking, Lord, that you would strengthen our character today. Give us this day our daily bread. Lord, give us hope today. Give us integrity. May your love and mercy be manifested today. Today, we need your power. We need your anointing. Lord, we need your strength in our relationships, strength with, with our marriages, our relationships with our sons and our daughters, our, our loved ones, our brothers and our sisters. Lord, give us this day our daily bread, Lord. Remove all stresses, everything that stresses us out. I'm not worried about it. I don't, I don't, I'm not worried about anybody. that I trust you, but I do get a little perturbed, a little angry, a little frustrated. Lord, Give us today your peace, your calmness. Be our friend. Be our companionship. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come on. Call his name. These last three minutes, four minutes, just to call his name. You don't have to put it in the chat if you don't want to. Continue to usher in his presence in your space. On your drive to work, as you're laying in bed, as you're getting your coffee ready, just call on his name. I need you, Jesus. Be with me. Yode Vahe or Yahweh or Yehovah. However you choose to pronounce Y-H-W-H. I just say the letters sometimes. Y-H-W-H. Y-H-W-H. I'm speaking right now that you go into my work office. <laughs> And that my work office would be anointed today. That you go into that space and feel my computer, feel my work colleagues, feel the atmosphere. Yeah, we still have things that we got to get done. A busy day, things to do, but YHWH. YHW. There's no other name higher 
no other name more powerful, no other name that has the authority like Jesus and YHWH. They're one. Him and the Father are one. So whichever name you call on, I call on both of them. Yeshua, Jesus, the Christ, the Messiah, Elohim, El Shaddai, the great I am, wonderful counselor. You're my hope. You're my shepherd. You're my shield. You're all things. YH. WH. I need you. If, if you don't show up today, we are in trouble. YH. WH. YH. WH. YH. WH. YH. WH. Have your way in our lives. YH. WH. YH. WH. YH. WH. Have your way. And we close the prayer with a big old thank you. Thank you. Thank you in advance for this day. Thank you for getting us the strength we need. Thank you for moving stuff in our lives. Thank you for saving our sons and daughters. Thank you for saving our husbands and our wives. Thank you for strengthening our finances. Thank you for healing our, our bodies. Thank you for healing our minds and our emotions. Lord, thank you in advance for making a way out of no way. Thank you in advance, Lord, for, for making the road straight when it was crooked. Thank you in advance for a beautiful Wednesday. The Wednesday is not even over, but we thank you in advance as if it's already done. For we walk by faith, not by sight. We, we walk already believing that this day is done and you've already stamped it with your approval. We're giving you the first fruits of our day and we ask that you walk with us. In Jesus' name we pray and everyone said hallelujah. Listen, have a wonderful day in the Lord. Last night's Bible study should be on YouTube. You can go watch it and all the other prayers are out there. Have a wonderful day. We will see you on tomorrow. Lord, thank you. Thank you. Thank you anyway. I appreciate it.